All right, hey everybody, this is John with Dead Drift Outdoors. I am coming to you today from Wyoming County, Pennsylvania. I am back down in PA for the first time this season. I'm really excited. I've never been fishing in uh, Wyoming County, so this is new to me. It's about an hour and 45 minute drive from my house, so I parked uh, on some state game lands. That's where I am now. Hiked down in. I fished for about maybe 30, 40 minutes to this spot. Haven't caught anything yet, but it's still fairly early. Um, it's going to keep warming up as the day goes on. It should be 70 degrees today. So hopefully find some brookies. We'll find some fish looking up eager to grab the dry and uh, Yeah, really excited to fish today bring you guys along as always and see what we get into I just brought my uh, L bean stream light six and a half foot three weight. I'm actually running the same fly that I finished on uh, the other day except it was about 30 degrees colder and snowing, but I got my little wolf and uh, drop in a little gold bead hairs ear that's a little beat up from eat fish eating it, but that's good. Ooh, fish. All right, at least, at least I see, at least I know there's some trout in here. I finally just saw my first trout zip up. So that's a good sign. He was sitting in the, right in this nice little groove in the tail. Definitely a feeding position small fish but hey gives me hope gives me hope I'll take a quick stream temp just out of curiosity and we're at 44 degrees so hopefully the water temps will push up towards 50 as the day goes on Here we go. Fish on. On the dry. Heck yeah. On the board. That is always a great feeling when you're not catching them. You finally get one in the net. Even when it's a small one. Hey. Oh, there he goes. Beautiful, wild native brook trout on the dry. Just fishing a little number 14 stimulator. And he hit twice, so it's a good sign. All right, well, I just, just missed a brookie. I thought he was just too small. Came up and kind of pushed my stimulator. And uh, then I got a look at him and he's, he's about the same size as the one I, the first one I caught. Definitely worth trying to catch here. So just tied on a uh, Adams, like a 16. All right, nice fish. Number two, not fast and furious, but hey, any stream that's got wild native brookies, it's a good stream to be on. All right, well, I've tried a bunch of different tactics today. I've tried dries, thrown a bugger here and there, dry droppers. The two fish I've caught have been on dries, but the last few pools, 
I have not had a fish come up, so I'm gonna. Th I threw a little dropper back on, a little heavy, small kind of midge pattern, and it worked. <laughs> Just a fast sinking little. I forget the name of it, but I'll show you. I just had a feeling they weren't coming up anymore for some reason. So, so switched it up and back on the fish. Good feeling. Oh, look at him. Pretty, pretty orange belly. All right, so this is the pattern. It's got an epoxy back. It's got, it's kind of like a copper John. It's got a copper wire body bead head and uh, just a little rabbit fur tail. All right, we'll let this guy go right here. There you go, buddy. All right, I'm losing a little confidence. I've probably missed, I don't know, four or five fish in a row. So I thought about it and I was like, what's my, my best confidence fly? And that would be the little white wolf, which actually is not a bad not a bad fly today because there are some decent sized mayflies coming out. Confidence fly, nice hole. Let's see if we can get it done. <laughs> bad cast, but it's all right. Slide up a little closer here. There it is. Oh, they're just not hitting hard. There we go. Finally. Oof. Little brook, you make me happy. <laughs> oh, I couldn't miss another one. I've just been missing so many this size, too. Not real big fish. Just, you know, just average wild brookies. But, man, it's nice to finally get one in hand here. <laughs> Pretty brookie, as always. Oh, nice fish. Oh, yeah. I watched him just come and hammer it. That's a good fish. Fish of the day right there, for sure. Oh, wow. That was cool. I was just, look at this fish. <laughs> That's a quality brook trout. Heck yeah. That's awesome. I was just coming up on this pool. It didn't actually look that great. There wasn't a lot of depth. So I made sure for once I had room behind me to cast. So I didn't get up close at all. And I was thinking that I have seen some fish in the shallower water. Um, not bigger fish, but I have seen some fish in some of this real skinny water, assuming they're feeding. And uh, sure enough, I saw that guy come from up ways and just come right across and suck it down. That was the highlight of the day. Oh, that is awesome.
Oh, there we go. All right. That guy had a nice hole all to himself. Go put him back right in his spot. See if he had any buddies in there. There we go, dude. That's a nice hole he's got there. Nice fish. Whoo! Another nice fish. That was a nice, nice little pool. There goes a nice trout. <laughs> Man, he was right in this super ski. Oh, he's still, somebody ate it. There we go. I don't know if that's the other fish, but man, these are fish are in some skinny water. There we go. I mean, I this water is three, four inches deep. No structure. And there's a beautiful brookie hanging out. All right, well that's gonna wrap it up for me today. It is getting late. I think I covered probably three or four miles today on this creek. Didn't catch a ton of fish, I think maybe half a dozen. That last brookie was an absolute gem, so that really made the day. I probably lost twice as many as I caught, but explored a new creek, had a great time, enjoying this warm weather, getting out, exploring new areas. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you'd like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time.